Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of Team Minus 365. Today's lesson, I'm going to be walking you through a high-level introduction into the Azure Security Center and Azure Defender. Getting into it here, Azure Security Center is a unified infrastructure security management system that strengthens the security posture of your data centers and provides advanced threat protection across your hybrid workloads in the cloud, whether they're in Azure or not, as well as on-prem. Azure Defender is integrated with Security Center and provides extended threat detection and response capabilities for infrastructure workloads. If you've watched my previous course on Microsoft 365 Defender, you saw Microsoft was providing protection across domains including endpoints, applications, email, and identities. Azure Defender is an extension of the Microsoft Defender offerings, and it provides protection for common workloads you have, including servers, containers, Kubernetes clusters, and more. There are many challenges related to the adoption of cloud workloads. One of the greatest concerns for IT pros when thinking about moving is security. The cloud brings a ton of new security and compliance complexity to organizations, and in some cases, it's a huge barrier to entry. The amount of telemetry coming through can quickly become overwhelming, especially with the shifting landscape. Azure Defender does a great job of performing continuous monitoring across all of your resources. It can provide you with security recommendations to help you improve your overall security posture. It can streamline alerts across workloads. Here's a diagram of some of the common services that they support today from a resource standpoint. And you'll notice that they have some in public preview as well. They're continually adding new resources to this particular service. Forrester recently conducted a total economic impact study for Azure Security Center and found 219% ROI in three years. This ROI comes from a variety of factors, including reduction in risk for security breaches, reduced time to mitigate threats, reduction in management time spent on creating policies, and organizational spend on other third-party tools. The Azure Security Center is composed of two broad pillars of cloud security. The first of which is Cloud Security Posture Management, or SCPM. Security Center is actually free for users that have an Azure subscription. It provides some features like secure score, detections of security misconfigurations in your Azure virtual machines, asset inventories, and recommendations for regulatory compliance controls. The second pillar is Cloud Workload Protection, or CWP. This is where Azure Defender comes into play. Azure Defender provides security alerts and advanced threat protection for various resources across Azure, Google, Amazon, and on-premise resources. Azure Defender triages security alerts across these workloads, provides a severity, as well as a recommended remediation, so you can focus on more sophisticated threats. I'm more of a visual learner myself, so let's pop into the Azure Security Center to see some of these features from an admin perspective. So I'm here within the Security Center Admin Center within Azure, and as I mentioned previously, you do get this Security Center Overview tab for free, as long as you have an Azure subscription. And what this dashboard is doing is really bubbling up some of the high-level incidents and prioritizing them for you so you can maximize your time. Here, some of the free features include the secure score information, which really gives you a lot of good recommendations and controls to implement based off of the configurations of the resources that you currently have. Additionally, you have regulatory compliance control recommendations as well that relate to certain standards like SOC, ISO, PCI. There's others as well that you can bolt on that I'll be showing you in later lessons. You also have insights here that you can use, and this is, again, bubbling these up for the biggest impact that you can have for increasing your security posture within this environment. Clicking into the Azure Defender section here, this part isn't set up by default, but I will be showing you how to set this up in later lessons. Essentially here, you're having more of the advanced threat protection going on across all of these resources that you see above here. And some of them I haven't even started to track yet, which is why there's an upgrade button here. And that allows me to enroll that into the Azure Defender service. And so with this, there's tons of different security telemetry 
points that you're getting within this particular center, but ultimately you're also getting a triaged security alert event hub here, which is actually taking all your security alerts and just like Microsoft 365 Defender, it's actually correlating those into incidents based off of looking at a broader attack chain. So I can click into here and I can see more information about this alert and I can actually go right into a take action, which gives me steps for mitigating this threat as well as some of the things that I can do on this particular machine for this VM to prevent future attacks with some of the recommendations they have for hardening that particular machine in the configuration. Back on this page, I can go into the inventory section and I can see complete inventory of all the resources in my Azure subscription and I can click into them to see the recommendations that they do provide. Lastly, down below, you do have the ability to connect third-party cloud solutions like AWS and GCP to bring in this telemetry as well and that actually will provide you recommendations straight from the security center here without having to pop into those various cloud portals. So a lot of powerful solutions will be unpacking over a couple different lessons here, but I just wanted to give you a high level introduction in this particular video. That's everything I wanted to showcase today. Stay tuned for my next lesson where we'll be walking through actually how you set up Azure Defender within the Azure Security Center. Thanks guys, have a great day.